Damn, do you see all those... All those little Jerboas? They were in a pack. Hmm, I don't know if we had this conversation exactly before. Um, we're talking about... I'm saying, like the Bachelor's saying that we should burn this place. I found the source of the infection. And then... Mihail Gorba replies, A sizable group of refugees from across the river has found its way here tonight. They entered the stone yard through the steppe people's camp back behind the cathedral. That's probably the reason why most of that steppe rabble fled at night. They fear the disease. Or maybe your wrath. How many refugees were there? Enough. More importantly, they've gone into hiding all over the place. We won't apprehend them all before dark. This is it, then. Now we need to persevere, to stand up to the plague. Perhaps someone will survive. Yes. Even if, in the end, there is but a single living person left, we still need to fight tooth and claw for every life. At least, that's how the theory goes. The reality is much ungainlier, though. But you are still alive. I think I'm beginning to understand. I believe I have a crucial appointment this evening. I just need to survive until I can attend it. Nothing is over yet. This is just the beginning. This is what I've been told to relay to you. Told to? By whom? We deal in death, Bachelor. We have our own sources. Some of them on the other side. I'll make sure to thank them, whoever they are. As soon as I get there. Yes, yeah, so what's happened now? Town is doomed. My search was pointless. I found the infected people. What does it matter? The stone yard is doomed. Was searching for the carrier even my true mission here? This is not a fight against the plague. The plague is only a facade. Who's my true foe? So now... I go to the cathedral, I guess. Oh, can I not go? Th oh, I can. So this time, if it all ends and it doesn't go away that I like, I don't have to restart everything. Like, I have enough saves throughout this whole thing that I can just go back to a save and keep most of my progress and try, try tweaking some things. Which is good, because there's a lot of things I've done that I wouldn't want to have to redo. Should I try to speak with the step people? Go to the camp? Because the camp was mentioned. People sneaking in from there. I don't know. Let's go try it. What are you doing out here? Suspicious. Pigeon. Kindest sir. Fairy godfather. Can I call you godfather now? What are you talking about, old man? I'm young enough to be your son. What? Old man? They look like... I don't know. 30? But it makes sense. You took us in, sheltered us, ordered to bring the sick to your own house, to close the eyes of the dying with your own hand, to give them final solace with your own prayer. I truly hope I won't have to close anyone's eyes, and that my own hand will offer the patient's broth the notes. Thank you. Thank you. They say that you don't have a heart, but I always knew that you do. An exquisite compliment indeed. Well, that's nice. So that paid off. Anyone else mysteriously hanging out behind the cathedral?
think they're all still crowded around the marriage person. Can't speak with them. And what about you? Okay, to the cathedral. No, I can't go into the cathedral anymore. What about the polyhedron? Is it still guarded? Yes. What can I do? Perhaps I should go back to my own place and see if my body's in my bed? I don't know. Ah, right! The committee's been replaced by the tragedians. We would kindly suggest that any unauthorized attendants move along, please. Sorry, but our workload is tremendous. Who are you? We're here to replace the deceased. Keep tabs on the deceased. Find accommodations for the deceased. Take complaints from the deceased. If you'd like to file a complaint, please wait in line for your turn. Like hell, I'll wait in line. Every order and instruction of yours has been carried out with precision. We accept no complaints in regards to ourselves or our predecessors. Not from you. If you feel dissatisfied with anything, you have no one to blame but yourself. Uh, I don't know what, to be, what are the options I want. The beds you provided for the makeshift hospital are creaky. This will not do. I need to have a good night's sleep. I don't... It's either that or thank them for opening the shop or just say indeed. Let's just be a, a petty little shit. The beds you've provided for the makeshift hospital are creaky. This will not do. I need to have a good night's sleep. Wait in line? What freaking line? The crucible is off limits. The Ark is full. Those who have been taken on board by the judge will probably be saved. As for me, a mutt's death for a mutt. Dying in the street. Oh well. Ain't worse than dying anywhere. The crucible is off limits. The Ark is full. Wait a minute, what's the crucible again? Ah, the crucible is the whole area with the three buildings where Maria and Georgi and, uh, was it si No, not Simon, it was Victor Kine? Was the other one? Yeah, that's the crucible. So we're standing in the crucible. There are other places to seek shelter. The cathedral, for example. Like anyone can find salvation in that place. Nothing is over yet. This is just the beginning. I've been told to relay that to everyone. They're not going to let me in here, huh? No. The Ark is full. Does that mean... Does that mean Georgi doesn't think that I passed the test? need to see if there's anyone I can speak with. If I see anyone, it's odd that they exist, pretty much. Because it seems like, for the most part, most people have been replaced with tragedians. I do feel tempted to go to my house. I don't know why. What if I went to the theater? Actually, I don't think I can get over there. Pretty sure you're limited to this whole area. Ah, screw it. Let's go to my house. Should have pretty decent protection with the executor cloak and the shoes. Here's my place. Oh. Goose. What do you call a person who first announces that the epidemic is curbed and then immediately sets up hospital in their very house? I call such a person diligent and considerate. 
and I'd call them a two-faced viper who fed people false hope. It's better to take hope away when catastrophe looms than to cling to illusions, leading everyone to their graves. No, it is not. Whatever. I was worried they were going to try to punch me. Oh, did they kill the Odong? Fuckers. <laughs> rowdy man. We've got a rowdy boy here. That was the carrier. Sure was. What makes you think so? Them savages are the root of all evil. Who else could bring the pest with them? Plain as day it is. You imbeciles. He had nothing to do with it. Good riddance to the plague bear. He did it. He brought the pest. There's no one else that could. Should burn their step den down too. Gather the good people at night. Light us some torches and burn it all to hell and back. What? For real? Shouldn't have let them in here in the first place. That was your doing. We know everything. You deserve no better, worm lover. Calm down and get lost, or else. I had some herbs on them. Poor Odong. A step herb with a bitter odor makes my eyes water. A step herb with a spicy odor makes my head swim. Local herbs possess unexpected pharmaceutical properties. Even untreated, their odor undoubtedly has odd effects on people's health. Small wonder everyone's like this in the town. Orderly number 12. Arrived here at your behest, Doc. I was there by the fire. I see that you clearly are alive. Who cares what the legal papers say? It's not like I can read anyway. Are you the chief orderly? Nah, I'm a boatman. I used to take people across the river before the plague broke out. Yeah, I'm here to keep on working, Doc. I'm just standing my watch. All right. Have some rest. I can see you're on your last legs. Isn't that what we said to them at the very, very beginning of each loop? Where they we then like skip some time and they're, I think, just outright dead? And we get a pocket watch from them? It's not going to be anything loot. Why would there be? This is still very creepy to me. I don't think this is going anywhere. Thora Fugel. I'm so happy we left the cathedral behind. Thank you, Doctor. If not for you, I'd never take such a risk. And I wouldn't let my brother do it, too. Your condition has plainly improved, which is odd. I was certain you wouldn't make it until the evening. What happened? I feel so strange. I have new eyes now, new hands. I want to live. I want to work, to be helpful. Lovely. In that case, you could see to the visitors of this place. People come here from time to time, and soon there will be more of them. Yeah, that's... That's it for this place. I'm glad I came here. Some people to talk to.
but I didn't really achieve anything practical, and now I have no freaking clue where to go. Oop, something's happening. Night has come. It's time for me to return home. My presence is expected. Hmm. I think that's a different quest marker than I had last time I needed to come home. Last time I needed to come home, didn't it say something like, it's time to get some rest? Now it says my presence is expected. <laughs> if you're wondering what I'm doing out here in the Cape, by the way, I just, I don't know, I didn't have any particular place to go, so decided to wander up here. Hello? I think it's starting already. Shall we go? Oh, right, the remembrance for me, huh? What is that horrible toll? Funeral bells. Time to go. I don't remember even the most noble townsfolk being laid to rest in such an ostentatious fashion. Doctor from the capital. He was a brilliant man. Yeah, I'm going to head there, too. Look at them just being creepers. Okay, hopefully things start to go differently than before. Look, he's waking up. What if he attacks us? I'd say we make a run for it. That's the same as before. Their murderer is a step demon. A Shabanak Adik. I just know it. Just don't think about the banging and the horrors and all of that. Everything will be fine. You've almost come too. See? We've been here all along. Yes. Think tis time I began, huh, Doc? Began what? It's all over now. We're done. Well, what can one do? The bodies need to be moved around. That requires free hands. See, Doc, there, uh, were people. Came seeking your help. You weren't here, so, well, what can one do? Then move the bodies wherever they need moving. Number 12, be my guest. Is that... This is, um... This is a little bit in the past compared to what we see at the beginning of the game, isn't it? Because the beginning is the end and then we kind of restart. But at the beginning, remember, we walk into this room and there's a pile of bodies here. So, them talking about moving the bodies somewhere, I think they're talking about the thing that we saw later when all the bodies were here. Shit, I can't go back. <laughs> so, Bachelor Dankovsky, the founder of Fanatica, a lab where you've been fruitlessly trying to solve the problem of human mortality for too many years. The tragic sand plague fighter. Are you ready to die? Hmm. Don't play the game if you don't know the rules, and if you do play the game, try to change the rules. I don't know. I don't know whether that means I should say I'm ready to die, or just still be defiant and say fuck you. Whew. 
but still be defiant. Go on, I like how you're listing my achievements. More, please. You've had enough time to put yourself and your actions in perspective. You're lying here delirious, clinging to the naive hope that this terrible house is a product of your imagination. So the kids were right. Yes, kids were very fond of you. They keep vigil over your body, even fighting over the privilege of fetching water for you. The girl is the only one smart enough to realize that it's time your torture ended. But adults always underestimate children, think they are more intelligent, and you are no exception. Keep vigil over my body, what do you mean? You once again refused to die and plunged into a new loop of your deathbed derangement. Everything but this house is a product of your imagination. But now you are finally coming too. There's only one step left to make, to leave the illusion behind and embrace reality. I'm afraid I'll have to be insistent. So I repeat, are you ready to die? Nope. Are you sure you thought this through? Oh, don't get me wrong, I'm very fond of thinking. You can say it's a hobby of mine. Never miss an opportunity to think some more when the chance presents itself. Do that. Thinking is never inappropriate. Ah, this explicitly mentions rules, this question. In the morning, you told me that you're not unlike a law of nature. A rule, so to speak, of this world. Could you please remind me, though, which rules exactly we're playing by? You're not unlike a rule. If the executor is a rule, then let me just bring up the image that I took of what the tragedian told me. They told me, never agree to play a game if you don't understand its rules. The stakes are too high. If you already have, challenge and change those rules, Bachelor Tankovsky. Challenge and change. Could you remind me, though, which rules exactly we're playing by? What on earth? Ooh, this is working. Change the rules. Change the rules. Change the rules. Are you ready to die, Beakhead? Touché. Bravo, Bachelor. Or are you? It's hard to tell who exactly talks to me from the other side of the glass. What a cumbersome mask. Anyway, what do you plan to do now? So I won, <laughs> I guess. Solve the same problem in my real life when the time comes. The laws we think immutable are false. The laws of nature that dictate mortality. The laws of games we play. Well done. One doesn't have to follow them indefinitely. Rules are made to be changed. Just loaded my save game. I'm curious if these other dialogue options lead to anything different. You're not death. You're merely a puppet. It was I who brought you to life. And it is I who will end it. Okay, so that leads to the same thing. So the other one probably leads to the same thing as well. Whichever of those you pick, you are breaking the rules. Now, what happens if I agree to die? Bachelor Dankovsky is ready to die. Oh, you're a clever one. <laughs> you definitely seem to have understood something. Was this why you sent me away to explore the town? I sent you nowhere. I came here to claim you. But I don't want to do it unless you accept me. You hate death so much that you can prolong the agony for many days, surviving purely on your own hatred. Aren't you tired of this yourself? If we're having this very personal conversation at all, please be so kind as to tell me how many days exactly are we talking here? 
enough. You've had enough time to put yourself and your actions in perspective. Your thoughts keep coming back to your very last day time and again as if you're trying to fix something, but in reality you're lying here delirious to this we've seen before. Oh, actually, do I even have the option to die? Give me a moment, I need to collect my thoughts. Okay, so instead of talking about the rule thing, why don't we talk about the judge? The judge believes that the epidemic is a sort of an exam, testing one's ability to become superhuman. Not superhuman, just human, if I may kindly correct you. If only you understood the immeasurable vastness of humanity, you would never want to become something else. Are you ready to die, Bachelor Dankovsky? Mm, I can either say no, or I can say this. I'm not Bachelor Dankovsky. You may take him. He was starting to wear on my nerves anyway. You chose freedom. Congratulations. Give me your hand. Now the interesting part begins. It turned out to be true. The transition is real, and the timeline continues. So does the entity I call myself. More emotion, less words. They are all obsolete. It's all different now. No kidding. The transition is real. Let's finish up with some thoughts on Marble Nest. I really enjoyed it. It feels so good to be back in the world of Pathologic. Even if for just a small amount of time, it's like we get to experience one of the universes that can happen when we eventually will be able to play as Bachelor Dankowski throughout the whole game. Because there's many different ways the game could go, just as when playing as Bura. And as we know, different actors at the theater keep taking on the role of these people, so... We just saw one particular iteration of The Bachelor's possible storyline. That really was a pretty extra miserable universe we got to inhabit for a bit. Because this is a version of The Bachelor's storyline where, even though they think that they have managed to save some people and quarantine everybody from the infection, although that's only after losing, I think, more than half of the entire town's population, they thought they did that for a little bit, and I guess they did for a little bit, but then just like a day later or something, comes back. And we know that the day after, it's just going to spread to the to the crucible and probably the cathedral. Maybe the people inside the cathedral, the Ark, as someone called it. Maybe they'll be okay, but yeah, the town's pretty much done for. Maybe Georgi's people who got an A-plus on the exam will be chosen to rebuild the town or whatever the fuck their idea is. But almost everybody in the town has died, and remember when we looked at the big important characters, and remember like a half or more of them are dead also? So that's a really bad universe. I hope when I play as The Bachelor, it doesn't end up that bad. You're probably wondering when the two other playable characters are going to be released for Pathologic 2, The Changeling and The Bachelor. I still have no idea there has been no news on that front. There was a bit of news about the state of Ice Pick Lodge as a company, though. I don't remember whether I talked about this in the main playthrough, because maybe the news happened after the playthrough was finished. I don't remember. But anyway, there was an interview after Pathologic 2's release with Ice Pick Lodge, and basically Pathologic 2 sold really poorly, so they didn't have enough money to keep operating as they were before that. So they're going to have to... Uh, they're going to have to let go a lot of people and just pare down to just a couple of the most core members of, of Ice Pick Lodge, and of course that would dramatically affect their ability to develop anything further, including the two additional storylines. Of course they said they still are committed to doing that, because that is something they've always wanted to do, it's something they promised with the Kickstarter for Pathologic 2, it's something they've committed to, but at this point in time there's been no news about it, and to be honest, it's probably going to take a long time, because... Ice Pick Lodge is not at a point right now where they can just have a bunch of people working away on it. But whenever they come out, I will certainly play them. Thanks for watching.